I'm telling you guys the truth. On that beach, that day, this beautiful Tahitian girl walked up to me wearing nothing. Dark brown skin. Her breasts were... This girl was completely naked. She walked up to me. She looked me right in the eyes. I smiled. She hesitated for just a split second. And she looked down at the sand and walked away. Her breasts silhouetted against the golden sun. Yeah, and? And that was it. What are you telling us? All this and you didn't nail her? I didn't have to. It was a perfect moment. Perfect moment? Jesus. Son, there's a better way of dealing with naked women besides watching them walk off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Todd, get it. I got money in mail. Hey, Joey, right. I got one you for you. Yeah, you bet. Oh, I got I one for you. That's yours. You got two. Thank you. And Joey, there's yours. Hmm. Looks like some young lady's been real determined to find you. Someone getting married, Joey? Yeah. My wife.
Yo, you look good, though. Joey, I gotta show you something. Okay, I gotta show you. Now, you remember the auto show, right? 1970, remember? The car? Pinky, Pinky. Hey, how was the eating? Joey, I wanted to come over. I was thinking of coming over, you know, me and you wasted on an island. Look at this. I got promoted. That's great. Listen, I want you to tell me what's going on around here. Joey, Joey, listen. You didn't see my new monster. <laughs> look at him. Doesn't he look dazed? His name's Tommy. I call him Pinky Jr. The third. Congratulations. I want you to tell me how my wife can be getting married tomorrow. I mean, uh, it's a joke, right? Walter Humphrey? What was he, captain of the stamp collecting team? Yeah, but Joey, I don't think it's a joke, man. Well, she can't marry somebody else. I know, she divorced you. Well, she can't do that. No, Joey, she did. All right, look, I gotta go find her. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay, hey, Joey, meet me at the bar tonight, okay? And bring the car. Great shirt. Listen, you got a car I can borrow? In my mom's Volvo here. All right. I need you to fix the uh, starter in my Buick. Can you do that today? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Excellent. Keys? In the car. All right, tell your mom thanks. And I'll bring it back later. Here, keep the shirt. Hey, thanks, man. You know, I'm going to Hawaii as soon as I get out of high school. Yeah, good for you. Are you growing a mustache? Yeah, kind of jumps out there at you, doesn't it? little boy. You spent more time in my office than any other little boy, didn't you, dear? And I so enjoy the cultural samples that you send for Beth to share with us. My personal favorite. Boy. Sorry. My personal favorite is the coconut breastplates from Hawaii, like armor, good for the older girls. It's a difficult age. Chris? <gasps> I'm sorry. I have to find Chris, Mrs. Bell. Philip, have you seen Christy? Yes, ma'am. Try the gym. Where's the 
ever so happy for Christy. She just had so nervous a year, and that Walter Rivercon turned down. Walter is such a well-mannered boy. I'd love to chat, Mrs. Bell, but I really gotta go. That boy was always in a hurry. a month? Give me a break. I don't know you. You're too tall and beautiful for me to know. You were gone too long this time. I know, honey. But look, I gotta go catch Mom and talk to her. I'll see you after school, okay? Well, can I go with you? I hate school. Well, not now. It's real important that I talk to your mom, okay? I love you. I'll see you later. Go play soccer. Dad? Me to come home if you don't want to see me. Who said I wanted you to come home? Then why'd you send me a wedding invitation if you didn't want me to come home? What? Chris, come on, open the door. This is my house too, remember? your hair? Yeah. Like it? Looks great. Come on, baby, let me in. We'll just talk. No. You're staying out there, and I'm staying in here. Chris, I promise. I won't even touch your hand. I won't even touch your arm. I won't even touch your neck. Joey, shut up. My lips will not go up and down your spine. Shut up, Joey. And I promise not to lick you behind Joey, your Joey, shut up! Oh, come on, Chris, give me a break. Joey Coulter, get down from there this very minute. Dawn? I'm here, honey. Joey, I swear to God, I'll call the sheriff. Well, it's nice to see you too, Dawn. Chris? I'm gonna bust this window in. Don't you dare bust that window. It's a brand new thermopane. 
We paid $110 for it. $110? Well, them windows ain't cheap, Joey. I waited six weeks for it. And you will not break the window. Yeah, it'll take you 10 weeks to get a new one. Back orders up the wazoo at Thompson's. I'm counting to five. Oh, come on. One. It's got to be a cold winter, Joey. Two. Don't you dare break that window, Joey. Three. I wouldn't, Joey. Four. Oh, it's a goddamn expensive window. OK, OK, I'm not going to break the goddamn window. You hear that, Mr. Benson? I'm not going to break the window. Good. I'm going to bring over some home-baked cookies. Stay right where you are. Chris, honey, come on. We've got to talk. No. I'm finally doing one smart thing in my life, and you are not going to talk me out of it. Chris, what are you doing? No. Chris, don't turn on the shower. Come on. God damn it! Daddy! Honey, what are you doing back from school? Did you get my letter? What letter? Mom's wedding invitation. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. This new bike you bought me. It's nice. I like red. Take me for a bike ride. Not now. This is not a good time, OK? Dad, you promised as soon as you came home, you'd take me for a bike ride. You promised. OK. OK. Talk to me, Dawn. Just say something nice. You need a haircut. Thanks. And stay away from Pinky, please. We're going for a bike ride. Cookies? Thanks, Miss B. Chris, me. Chris, it's Dawn. Where is he? Look, this is it, OK? And you have to fight it. Just fight it. Yeah. Don't let up. Don't let him anywhere near you. Where is he? He's outside, riding a bicycle with Beth. With Beth? She's supposed to be at school. Well, you're supposed to be at school. Uh, I want to kill myself. Well, you can't. You have a wedding tomorrow. Dead is not sexy on a wedding night. I need a cigarette. Don't let him start you smoking again. Bring me a beer. You know, he's skinnier. I never noticed his butt before. You're supposed to be helping me, Dawn. Sorry. Where are my goddamn cigarettes? They displayed my paper mache map of the United States at school, and I put stars in all the places you've been. I have to come see it. When? Hey, does Joey know I have a baby? All I want is a family! A real family. Yeah, well, you remember that. Where are my goddamn cigarettes? Tough drawer. Joey Coulter is not going to make me feel guilty. Don't you dare feel guilty. Don't let him near you. I mean, my God, what does he expect? Twelve and a half years. Twelve and a half years. Merry Christmas, honey. I'm going to Florida to build a, a boat. boat. I know. Happy Easter. I'll call you from Arizona. He's home after six weeks with rattlesnake belts. Bell Pinky, where's his? You know, I figured it out. Twelve and a half years is exactly 4,562 days. He was home 1,137 of those days. You know, I didn't get married to be alone 3,425 days. Oh, my God. What? Walt. He'll kill Walt. <sighs> or at least hurt him very badly. Walter Humphrey is the best thing that ever happened to you, and don't you ever forget that. Oh, <laughs> life's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Are you going to let Mom marry Walt? I don't want you to worry about it, OK? But are you? Would I ever let you down? You didn't get to see me in my play. I bet you were great. 
Oh, I kind of blew one of my lines. Yeah, but nobody noticed, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to bet. Where are you gonna sleep tonight? I don't know, but wherever I am, I'll be dreaming of you. Beth? You better go back to school before your mom gets any madder than she already is. <laughs> See you later, okay? Beth, you hear me? Dad's back, Mom. So I see. Go away, Joey. I am not leaving until I get to talk to you alone. Why? You never listen to me anyway. What do you mean I never listen to you? I ask you to do something for me, and you just go ahead and do whatever you want. You never think about how I feel or what I want. God damn it, Joey. Why can't you ever do what I ask you to do? Joey, do us all a favor, OK? Go home, Dawn. I want Dawn here. And I am here, which is more than I can say for you most of the time. <sighs> what does he want me to do? Go talk to Stewie Haggart. Oh, he's a turd. Well, he's my lawyer. Well, why do I want to talk to some blood-sucking lawyer? Stewie is not blood-sucking. No? He tied his sister buck naked to a lawnmower and sold tickets to watch him mow the lawn. Yeah, and you bought one. Well, what do you expect? I was 12. Look, you want me to talk to Stewie Haggart? If Stewie has something to say that has to do with you and me, then you and me are going to go see him together. You and me and Dawn. No, Dawn's not coming. Well, if Dawn's not coming, then I'm not if coming. If Chris wants me to come, I'm going to come. Oh, well, fine. Why don't we have Mrs. Benson join us? I'm not coming unless Mr. Benson comes. I can do that. Great. Is there anybody else on the block that would like to come? I mean, we could turn this into a field trip. I'm going. Cookies? Follow. I, I understand, Mr. Gunderson, but in fact, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it, isn't cow manure good for roses? Yeah, I realize that it wasn't your cow, but to sue your neighbor for essentially providing you with free fertilizer, I, I do not think that you've got a very strong case here. Uh, excuse me. Well, Chris says I'm supposed to talk to you. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to get back with you. And Mr. Gunderson, could you call me Stuart? All right, bye-bye. This is totally unprofessional. Get off it, Stewie. Stuart! In my office, in a lawyer's office, when that door is closed... What is it you hey, got to tell me? guess what? It's closed for a reason. This is a room of confidentiality here, okay? This is sacred. I said, Joey, what is it you got to tell me? Let go of the tie! Yes, Stuart! Stuart! Show Joey the divorce papers, Stuart. It's all just here. Let me just... Joey, you want to sit down? No, I don't want to sit down. All my clients sit down. Really? Guess what? I'm not your client. Oh, Joey, please. This is how it works. You know, legal stuff, you do have an idea of what legal stuff is, right? God, you're bugging me, Don. You're really bugging <laughs> oh, me. Oh, I'm bugging you. I like that. Do you ever think that you bug anyone? Okay, that's it. You're out of here. Hey, excuse me. I'm with Chris. Uh, She's this the is one none of your business, so Let's get your go, butt out of here. Yes. Who are these people I am yelling in front of? These are my neighbors. Cookies? Just... Show Joey the divorce papers, Stuart. Ert. The terms of the divorce. You do? Oh, that's so cursed Latin. What these mean is that you, Joey, you no longer have spousal rights. You cannot bust into my classroom or bust into my house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Our house. Uh-uh. N-O. The marital property settlement awarded Christine the house the 1979 Honda, five $100 savings bonds. You retain the land at the creek, the rowboat, the 15 horsepower motor, the remaining eight $100 savings bonds, the 1969 Buick. Shut up, Stewie. Stuart!
Chris filed for divorce. Under state law, we then attempted to locate you. We published her intentions in the newspapers for four consecutive weeks. We receive zero response. She waits, waits the mandatory separation period, at which point the court enters an order granting the divorce. So there, that's it, Bonito, the marriage is over. So you're really pissed. Why? 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 I'll tell you why. Better the flu? I had a toothache. The snake? There was a snake in the house. The car died, it was cold, it rained and the gutters broke and I have to sleep with socks on. That's why. Okay, okay. I guess I stayed away too long. I guess. But I was making good money. I sent you all the checks. I was even thinking of bringing you and Beth out there. I teach school here. Well, here, there, what's the difference? There never lasts. There's always another there. Beth and I'd be there and you'd be off someplace else. That's why I came home. <sighs> Joey, I didn't do this because you stayed away longer than usual. I won't do it again, okay? I made up my mind. No, you haven't. <laughs> I love you. And that's why I can't let you marry Walter Humphrey. He thinks he can get to me. But he can't. He can't. Yeah, Trudy. Joey, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. Listen, you got any of those uh, cupcakes that Chris likes? You mean the strawberry with the coconut? Right there they are. That's it. I need a whole box of those to live in my house. Can you do that for me? Sure thing. But I think it's going to take more than a few cupcakes this time, Joey. bit into and slobbered all over it. Just on this half. We can have this half. What are you doing? Waiting for my dad. I love you. I really love you. Well, the only thing I've ever been interested in is taxidermy. <clears throat> oh. This, 
Our can of chicken is an example of my best work. I want you two to have it. Shelly, leave Chris alone. We have to all go get in our places. I wasn't doing anything. We were just talking, right? Right. Talking about life. <laughs> right? But that, I think that's what we were doing. <laughs> Shelly. Look, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Mrs. Humphrey. Stuart. Yes. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Shelly. Uh, thank you. Uh, the, uh, forgot what I, oh, the, the minister wants to see you now. Uh, thank all you. Right. Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Stuart. Shelly uses large amounts of formaldehyde, and we wonder about its effects. I have to go get things organized, but I hope your ex-husband won't be a problem. Joey knows it's over the twins. <laughs> we can only hope. Oh, oh, oh. isn't this lovely? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the first boy that ever kissed me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, <gasps> William, Tucker, go wash your hands and get into place. You don't let Joey Coulter within 10 feet of you, do you understand me? He's just like your father. He could charm the pants off you one minute and have you cooling in the breeze the next. And you don't want to end up like me. Hey, 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 hey. But aren't you talking to me anymore? My dad came home. I don't know if I can be friends with both of you. Well, um, it's okay with me if it's okay with him. You and me drinking here? Chris. I'm talking about Chris. Oh, that, yeah. What are you gonna do? It's not gonna happen. I'm just having a nightmare. You feel that? Yeah. Well, then you're not having a nightmare. I'm not gonna let this happen. I gotta find her again. Joey! She's the wedding rehearsal. With Dawn. So let's go. Okay. We'll take my car. <laughs> you ready for this? You're gonna wet your pants. Would you paint it with nail polish? Custom pink. Great, huh? <laughs> I'll drive. You always drive. You'll be very careful. It's going to be wonderful. You, you, you're going to be a wonderful wife, and and, and we'll have kids, yeah, and and we'll build a house, and you know, you'll teach. I'll have, teach. I'll have the dealership, and who knows what else? Huh? Do, you, do you want something else? A garden. We'll have a garden in the backyard, and in the summer we'll plant seeds. Little tiny. Every day we'll go out, we'll check on them, and we'll watch them grow. Every day we'll watch them together. Every day. Can we watch them together every day? Chris, I'm gonna be there for you. That's when you and Stuart come out here and stand to the left of me. That's your cue, Christine.
Joey was driving. I just came along for the ride. May we help you, Joey? I'll take care of it. Beth, Beth, come back here. No. Hello, Maybelle. Pretty dress. You look great. Thanks for noticing, but don't think that means I'm on your side. Side? Who's taking sides? Are we taking sides here? I'm not taking sides. Joey, can I help you with something? I don't know, Walt. Can you? Can he, Chris? Joey, we're right in the middle of something here. I know that, Walt. Jesus, a chair. Pretty scary, Walt. Awful scary, Walt. Oh, shut up, Pinky. Guys, this is just a little childish. I don't know. Walt picked the game. Joey, just leave right now and we'll forget about it. I guess I got about 100 chairs to go, honey. I'll get there. <laughs> Damn it, Joey! You don't come and take what you want anymore. Other people have a say in this, too. I just wanted to know if Chris has something she wants to say. Chris, do you have anything you want to say? Hmm? Tell these people you got to think about this. Hmm. Chris? Oh, oh see there now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mom. You are gonna leave her alone! Dog food for a month. Hey, Dawn! <laughs> okay, fine. I won't throw cow shit at my wife. The rest of you stay where you are! Oh, go away, Pinky. I didn't mean you, Mrs. Humphrey. Chris? You don't own her, Joey. She's made up her mind, and you gotta respect that. I don't have to respect anything. Oh, geez, did you hear what you just said? Love and respect aren't the same thing, Walt. And I'm not leaving until I talk to my wife. But she's not your wife anymore. Why can't you get that through your thick head? She's my family. Chris and Beth are my family, okay? And you're not hoarding it in. Chris, you all right? Oh, you've always had a weak stomach. Don't take it as a sign for anything. I don't want to die. Well, yeah, we discussed that. And now I personally feel that you must live to watch me kill Pinky. Put your arm around here. Lean on me. OK. There you go. And we're going to walk it off, because you got it out of your system, and you're going to be fine. Watch where you're stepping. Have you got new shoes on? Yeah. Oh, God help us. There's cow shit and bull metal. Oh. you got to watch where you're going. OK, now I want you to take deep breaths. Let it go, because you're going to be just fine. You just need to walk Ooh. and breathe. Now, listen. Me showing up has bound to make Chris think about a few things, right? Now, now, maybe she's changed her mind, and she's too afraid to tell you about it. Huh? I mean, are you too chicken shit to find out? You're gonna be fine. Oh, here they come. Oh, God. It's okay. Do you have a man on you? No, why? Are you gonna throw up again? No, no. Oh, here. Here. Grass. Cows have great breath. Eat that. Don't let them see. And just breathe and eat. That's good. And they're here, they're coming, so just spit it out. And then turn around. That's it. What? 
have a little piece of grass there on your mouth. Could I have a moment alone with Chris? That's up to you, Chris. I guess you don't want to... No, 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 this is fine. This is just fine. This is fine. I like this place. This is a great place. I want to marry Walt. No, you don't. Did you ever, ever think about what I was doing when you were off on one of your adventures? You were teaching, taking care of Beth, doing what you wanted but to do. But I was alone! Well, I could have sent for you. I don't want to clean out barns so I can live on a dude ranch. I don't want to cook dinner for 20 guys with B.O. so I can experience Alaska. I don't want to be a chambermaid in Bali so I can hang out on the beach. I don't want that life. So you have this life. We both love each other. We both have the lives that we want. What's wrong with that? Oh, so... I know you screwed around. It hurts me. You don't need me. I needed you. I put things off so I can do them with you. You made everything more fun. You made everything special. But you don't need me to feel special. Honey, I do too. God. You know what we got to do? We got to build a cabin. I was thinking about this. You know, I, I, I could get the outside walls up, insulate it, do all the finishing touches in November. We could be in there by Christmas. Joey. Look, I know this is something that we talked about we were going to do for like 10 years, but face it. You couldn't stay home. We couldn't afford it at first, and I wanted to do it right, so I didn't push to get it done because I, I wanted it done right. But, you know, hey, we could uh, get one of those um, home equity loans, and I could do most of the work myself. I'm marrying Walt. No. Yes! No, Chris. Joey. No, you, you don't want to take my home away from me. You're my home. You're my home. You're my home. You used our home like a motel. You don't love me anymore? No. Honey? here what the hell happened to everybody okay okay I'm leaving I'm leaving You know, it's... You know, women, they think they can change things, make things better. They always think things can be better. I mean, you know, they never let up. Why do they never know what we know? Things are the way they are. Like, my car needs a hose down because it's covered in cow pie. Uh. Joey, will you look at my car? Jesus. You see Dawn's face, man? I 
I'm gonna be sleeping on the porch tonight. I promise after we're married to quit getting in so many fights. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Walt, you're an animal. You're never gonna change, but I'll settle down. You'll see. I have fun at your party. Okay. You animal. <laughs> So, I'm free. <laughs> Feels pretty good. I never have to call home. Never have to go home. Just go. Anywhere, anytime. <laughs> hey, I'm not calling home. I'm not coming home. <laughs> oh, what a life. Of course, I still got Beth. Yeah, but a kid's not like a wife. Yeah. Doesn't you know, Walt take care of her? I've seen them together in town. They get along real good. Great. So, I'm free. You're free. This guy one time wanted me to work a steamer all the way to Singapore. That's where? The Australia? No, China. Of course, I couldn't do it because it was like Chris's birthday or something. <sighs> I'm going with you, man. One of these times, okay? You know that. That's great. You never know what's around the corner, Pinky. It's all up for grabs, and you grab for it if you want it. You don't have a lot, but you don't have a lot to worry about. Just what you want to do tomorrow. Ah, uh, you're lucky, man. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a guy like me doesn't need a home. No, yeah, world's your home. <sighs> Shit. I, I, I guess it's when I scratch my armpits when I barbecue. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> right? no. no. And your wife said, Farty in bed. Thank you, Farty in bed. Yes! Thank you, Farty in bed. That's what I thought you said. Really intelligent, well bred woman. Now we lost the trip because of you. Thanks a lot. Damn. I can't go on a trip with her. Look, look, look. Gorgeous. Come out here and see how stupid your mother looks. Chris, I really like the way this is looking. It's stunning. Oh, guys, Walt will love this. Such a thing. <laughs> Beth, honey, please let me in. I, I want to talk to you. I love you, and Walt loves you, and your daddy loves you. Everybody loves you, sweetie. Beth, Beth. Do not turn that shower on. Beth? Beth, don't you dare stand in Dawn's shower. This is not your house, and you are wasting water. Beth? Beth, let me in. Beth, honey, please let me in. Please, I, I want to talk to you, honey. Walter Humphrey. Well, 
all I can say to you is tall order. <laughs> How can I sum this man up? Is he indeed a man or is he a myth? Is he a hero or is he human? Kind of a god or just some guy? <laughs> Tonight we bid goodbye to one Walter Humphrey, Walt the Playboy, the man about town, <clears throat> dashing, debonair. I think you misspelled debonair there, Walt. Uh, oh. And we say hello to Walt the husband, the homemaker, deeply devoted, and I would suggest slightly boring. <laughs> Walt, may you thrive and continue giving me discounts at your store. Walt Humphrey! Um, you guys are really great. <laughs> what a speed! <laughs> well, no, he, he worked on it. He worked on it. I got a question for you. Hmm. How come you never told me what was going on around here? What do you mean? I mean, how come I found out about this when it was too late for me to do anything? Man, I didn't know where you were. You could have found me. Sure, you send me postcards from places you're leaving. Had a great time here, bud. I'll write you from the next stop. How am I supposed to find you? You didn't try real hard, did you? Yes, I tried. I talked to Chris. I'm your best buddy, man. I stood up for you. Give me a little credit. You know, you don't even say a good deal, man, about my new promotion, my new kid, my new car. What do you think? Nothing I do is worth nothing? This is important to me, Pinky. This is my family. It's my marriage. I know, but goddammit, what I do is important to me. You think what I do doesn't take any guts? So you got all the guts? I got promoted. Jesus, that takes guts. You ever say to me, good work, buddy? You got promoted. No. Because you never worked anywhere long enough to get promoted in your life. Where's the guts in that, Joey? Huh? Where's the guts in letting some dog here marry your wife? Hey, that's my car. I said that's my car. I'm a terrible mother. Kids don't know what's best for them. What if it's a mistake? I just don't want her to grow up like I did with no father. She loves Joey so much. Multi meal balls? Beth? Honey? Honey, you want some malted milk balls? Dawn's got some. Malted milk balls? You want us to get you some malted milk balls, honey? I'll go get them. Yeah, go get some malted milk balls. They always make me feel better. I'm gonna check oh, the kitchen. Yeah, I'll check the living room. Yeah. 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 Joey straight to the cafeteria and then Sweet talked himself out of detention. I got three months just because Joey made me play in a bra for shirt basketball. I mean, the principal said I planned it. Joey planned it. Hey, now, what are you talking about? He is a dickhead. These are great. They shove your butt up high and drives the guys crazy. <laughs> Once he walked right into the girls' locker room, I was naked, I was alone. I mean, I knew he wanted me, but he pretended like he did. But I knew he did. Chris and Joey, Joey and Chris, give me a break. Edna, football captain, head of cheerleaders, prom king and queen. Edna, you're stinking. Go home and sleep it off. And maybe you should go on home. You know, you two were like Romeo and Juliet, and the rest of us were like Fred and Ethel. What did love with Romeo get you? I got a beautiful daughter. I got to see most of North America. I got to say yes to Michigan. And I found out the great American highway really, really does, does belong to Buick. Buick. Where's your precious love now? Yeah. Will somebody drive Edna home, please? Yeah. I'll drive her school. Beth, I got 
hot malted milk balls. Why can't we go with Daddy? You got my keys? You coming in? No, thanks. Relax, relax. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Walt, I want to apologize for hitting you in the eye. And I'm sorry I screwed up your deal at the tent. I've realized that this is the way things are going to be, and I want you to know that I think you're a good man. What are you drinking? Um, beer. No, 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 no. You need tequila. I couldn't answer, Beth. It was a simple question. Why couldn't I answer her? Honey, you and Joey, it's not real life. Sure, you have romance two or three times a year when he shows up. But how that gets you through the nights when it's gone, I don't know. Well, Pinky's not a movie star. I never thought he was a movie star. He barbecues on Sundays in the summer, and he fries chicken on Sundays in the winter. And every Sunday, I get this feeling in my stomach that something's right with the world. Rest of the week, I don't know. But hey, he's my husband. I'm his wife. Maybe you've always stayed Joey's girl. Hmm? You're not a girl anymore. It's late. You have a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We better clean up this mess. Oh, Lord. What a mess. <laughs> right. I gotta tell you, Joey, I never really disliked you. That 44-yard quarterback sneak that you ran with 10 seconds left to beat five balls, that was a great night for me. For you. Me and Mona Kekic. Wait a minute. Mona Kekic? I never got anywhere with Mona. <laughs> Too bad. But I liked her. Wild man. Let her stay. I'll bring her over in the morning. Okay. I don't suppose you've ever been to the Grand Tetons. Can't say that I have. Great little town called Idaho Falls. Man, the girls there are Walter. Beautiful quilts. I remember lots of beautiful quilts. You ever been to Stockholm? No. 
Munich? No. Barcelona? No. They all have beautiful women. Gotta go there sometime. You gotta see them. with you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Joey. About what? Not everything. It's not what I thought would happen. Not with you and me. No. Not with you and me. Hey, check this out. We used to do this in my old Pontiac, remember? <laughs> you mean before we did it in your old Buick? <laughs> Watch this. Hey, kids. Knees and teeth together at all times. Don't pay any attention to him. I invented some of the things you're doing in there, pal. Just go back to what you were doing. I'm taking him home. <laughs> oh. oh, you were so bad, Joey. Oh, me? Oh, sometimes. Are you taking me home? So what about Beth? She's okay. She's kind of confused since you're here, but she likes Walt. What does that mean? As long as I'm not around, she'll be fine? <laughs> I didn't say that. It sounded like what you said. Oh, Joey, Beth idolizes you. Sarah, you're a legend. She's not a great father, right? She knows you love her. Walt got pretty trashed tonight. How do you know? Because I was at the party. I bought him a couple of rounds. Wish him luck. I figure he'll need it. You bought Walt a couple of rounds? Yeah. A couple of dozen rounds. <laughs> I mean, I don't want him to be in great shape tomorrow night. You know? that summer and I feel attached to it. I think we made a winner together though. Cupcakes. 
See, I ain't that bad a guy. Nobody said you were. I was scared to be alone with you. There's nothing to be scared about. No. I guess you could come in, get so many things. Good idea. I still love the price of my sin. We won't know. Where's that dog? I put her in the dining room. You might need some of your clothes. Yeah. I'll put them in boxes. Okay. In the dining room. I left my heart in the pretty little girl and set off to tame this scrappy world. I went to the preacher to set me free <laughs> with the dog I didn't mean what I said. What? I do love you. I love you too. Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. You didn't have to sleep on the couch. No, well, I wasn't ready for your mouth. What's with you and Joey? 
I mean, it's been a long night. Go to bed. I'm feeding Tommy. Are you going to work? Yeah, I'm going to work. What do you think I'm doing? I don't know what to think. Hmm. <laughs> Did you take all my meatballs? Got any left? Yeah. That'd be good. Rye roll. Mm. What do you think, buddy? I think a roll. Roll. Okay, sweetie. Okay, little partner. Let's see you, little Tommy. How about it, baby? Yeah, oh, yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daddy's home. Joey. What's going on? Joey, you gotta go. Why? Dawn just called. She's dropping Beth off any minute. So? And Angie's coming over for the final fitting of my wedding dress. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't need a wedding dress. You told me you loved me last night, remember? I do love you, but I can't go back to what we had before. I don't want that. I can't. I can't. Joey, you gotta go. I don't want Beth to be any more confused than she already is. Always use another good drill punch operator. Kind of repetitive, but uh, damn good money. Pays by the piece. Get anything else? Smelter, uh, melting metal in large kettles. All the overtime you want, plus in a year or two, a shot at metal die casting. Is there anything in sales? This dress is for a fat girl. Honey, you couldn't possibly look fat. You're a twig. Angie, that's a little tight around here, and gosh, I got nothing to keep it up. I'm gonna be tugging on it all day. You're right, Mom. You look great. Of course, that is only part of my dress that fits. I, uh, just signed up. Got a job. Great, man. Yeah, I start Monday. Yeah, man. 
I'll see you Monday, then. See you Monday. my hair. What do you want to do, honey? Can I have flowers? Do you want to have flowers? Flower girl's got to have flowers in her hair. Well, then you can have flowers in your hair. Why don't you go take this dress off? Okay. going through with this. Joey. What if I told you I was staying? I got a job at the plant. I start on Monday. Honey, you don't want to do that. You'd be miserable. I can do that. I don't want you to be miserable for me. You don't have to make me any more promises. Just don't get married today. What's going on? Hey, Walt. Joey? Chris? Joey just... I got a job at the plant. God. I'm staying. Chris, I can't do it this way. Oh, God. No, I'm, I'm not gonna get into a contest here. I love you, Chris. Walt! Walt! So, you kind of love him, don't you? Kind of do. It's okay. I know you love me, too.
Dress. Joey, no, please. close. What's he doing? Mom? It's okay. Why is there going to fight? There will be no fight. This is your day. Mother! Say goodbye. I'll bring her right back, okay? Okay. Nice wedding, huh? Promise me you'll outlive Walter. What? Well, I mean, Walt's free to live a healthy and happy life for as long as he wants. I just want you to live a little longer. Why? Because I'm going to live forever, and I want to be old with you. Dance with your wife. I was thinking, I just wanted you to know that I could never do what you do. Goddamn postcard, right? Let's go for a ride.
I'm gonna leave today. Even if I have to live with Mom and Walt, you'll still come to see me, won't you? Sweetheart, I'm your dad. Nothing's gonna ever change that. You're my home now. And someday, all this will be yours. Gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> hey, you know what? We could finish the cabin. Yeah, you and me. What? I could come back this summer, and we could finish this place. It could be ours. Dad, you never make plans that far in advance. Well, now I do. What do you say? You and me, this summer, three whole months. Shh. You don't have to make me promises. I love you anyway. I'm not going to make any more promises, Beth. I'm just going to try and do better. So, where are you going this time? I don't know yet. You know, someday, your mom's gonna let you come with me. There's a lot of places I've seen in a lot of places I haven't. But I think I should save the best places for you. Huh? Yeah.